Hi everybody, my name's Christine and I am the founder and admin from PSSM and MFM Awareness. And in today's video, we're going to be talking all about the PX variant of PSSM2. We're going to be explaining what PX is, what gene the PX variant affects, along with explaining why having PX causes a horse to be symptomatic. Let's begin. What is PX? PX is not a variant of PSSM2, but it is a suspected variant of RUR which stands for Recurrent Exertional Rhabdomyolysis. What is Recurrent Exertional Rhabdomyolysis? Recurrent Exertional Rhabdomyolysis, or RUR, is a form of exercise intolerance caused by an abnormality of calcium regulation in muscle cells. What does the PX variant affect? The PX variant affects something called the CACNA 2D3 gene. What is the CACNA 2D3 gene? The CACNA 2D3 gene is a protein that assists in the folding and unfolding of large molecular structures like protein. It also assists in the assembly of the voltage-gated calcium channel. What is the function of CACNA 2D3? CACNA 2D3 encodes a member of the alpha 2 slash delta subunit family which is a protein in the CA2 plus ion channel complex. CA2 plus ion channels are selective tunnel-like structures that change shape to allow charged calcium ions through. Calcium ions contribute to the way in which bodily parts function and biochemical processes within muscle cells. Some of the many functions calcium ions contribute to in a horse's body are muscle contraction, blood clotting, bone and teeth strength, nerve impulses, oocyte production, starting egg production in mares, transmission, electrical impulses in the body, regulating heartbeat and fluid balance. What happens when there is a gene mutation in CACNA 2D3? When a genetic mutation occurs in CACNA 2D3, the quantity of CACNA 2D3 and the channel density in the membrane is altered by the interference of the mutated PX allele. The mutated PX allele is like that annoying fly who keeps buzzing round your head. It's not wanted and it causes havoc. The mutated PX allele likely changes the way that the mRNA copy of the gene is processed. mRNA is the information that is used to synthesize the CACNA 2D3 protein. So changes in the processing of mRNA affect the level of expression of the protein. How does having a mutation in CACNA 2D3 cause a horse to be symptomatic? Having a mutation in the CACNA 2D3 gene alone doesn't cause a horse to be symptomatic. The PX variant of PSSM2 only causes a horse to develop symptoms if they are diagnosed with another variant of PSSM2, for example, MPX and MP2, or if they have an undiscovered variant of PSSM2 alongside the PX. This is why some MPX and PXPX horses are highly symptomatic. PX alongside any other variant of PSSM2 acts as an enhancer and can make symptoms much more pronounced. Why are horses affected by PX at different ages? Because every horse's body is different. Some horses' bodies are stronger, some horses' bodies are weaker, some horses are immature, while others are more mature. Some horses are able to withstand pain and even grow accustomed to it, and some horses simply can't take the slightest ounce of pain and will let you know when something is wrong. Every single horse is an individual and different, just like us. And that concludes our video on the PX variant of PSSM2. We hope you found this video helpful and that you now have more of an understanding of what the PX variant of PSSM2 actually is. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, join our Facebook group, follow us on Instagram, and check out our website for all things PSSM, MFM and RUR. Thank you for watching.